Hey guys, it's Amy. I just wanted to come to you today and show you this car, this box, excuse me, this box that I altered for my best friend Wendy's birthday. And her birthday's not until August, but I had the box and I wanted to go ahead and get it done. So, um, this is what I did. I used uh, the background paper. Let me zoom in some. What's wrong way? The background paper, if you can see, is uh, from the K and Company Classic stack, and then I just backed it with some basil in red. Um, a lot of the flowers, let's see, this one, this one, this one, all the red ones. This one was made by me. This one was made by me, and then this one was made by me. The rest of them are Prima. These are Prima. These are Wild Orchid Crafts. Prima, Wild Orchid Crafts, Wild Orchid Crafts. I added a couple feathers here in the background. There's three feathers right there. And then there's a couple feathers over here. This is a Cherry Lynn Designs die. And I backed it with the cream. Um, I put the black doily here and there's one up under here too you just can't see it and uh, put a white doily on top and put that best friends plaque on there I just used a frame from Michaels and um, there's a stamp and it says especially for you and it's a um, dress form with wings and some roses she told me the colors that she wanted it to be so uh, I just, you know, went after what she wanted. I took the original hinge off, I mean latch off, to put this Tim Holtz on here. Uh, and I went all around the, the box doing that matted uh, cardstock effect where I, I layered the red behind it. And it's even like that under here. This is some of my favorite lace from my stash. And then I use flatback pearls all the way around to finish off the lace. It's got Tim Holtz feet on it. And I know that these are mostly probably glued in, but we actually found matching nails and nailed it in so it would be more sturdy. I got my stamp on the bottom. Um, this is all for the outside. Let me show you the inside. Um, this is two more Cherry Lynn Designs um, dies. Let me get this adjusted. And more K and Company background paper. I painted the whole box. Um, let me see. I think it was antique white. Yeah, it was this uh, plaid antique white. That's what I did the whole box. And then I went over the whole box with a layer of varnish and uh, inside and out. And then I used glue and, glue and seal by Ranger to adhere the paper. This is just stuck on with three and one glue. And this is a K and Company Brad. You hear my dog barking. Sorry about that. Um, let me get this. This thing that I used for the hinge right here, let me get it where you can see it. You see that? It's a wire just screwed in and it swivels at the bottom. It is called uh, heavy duty leaders and this comes from the fishing section at Walmart. And you can get a whole pack of them for like $3 and they're all various sizes. And that's what I used to keep it open because it was smaller than using a chain and I didn't want a ribbon to fray. But then I put some more basil card stuck on the bottom inside. Um, and that's about all that I've done on this little box. Just added a bunch of flowers and feathers, die cuts. Anyway, I think that she'll like it. I hope so. But, um,. Thank you for stopping by and taking a look at my video. Please leave me a thumbs up, comment, or 
suggestions if you have any. I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.